Hi everyone, this is Michael Durr from PhotoPXL.com and this is the Insta360 1X. Stupid. <laughs> The Insta360 ONE-X has an amazingly sleek design. You have two buttons that can easily control your modes and a nice screen so you can see what your settings are. I like this feature because you don't have to go into your mobile device to ensure that you're in the correct settings. At the bottom, you have easy access to your SD card and quarter inch tripod mount. It comes in a neoprene case, which is a necessity to keep your lenses from getting scratched or damaged while not in use. I've also been using this bullet time selfie stick, which is a great tool and built very well. I currently only have one battery with this system. I do wish that it lasted a little longer. However, you can always add an additional battery or even an external charger. It has great flow state stability, so you can achieve nice smooth video. The 5.7K capture has excellent quality and can even be integrated with other mirrorless cameras to add a new creative viewpoint to your videos. So it does look a little silly. Yeah, totally. I hate selfie sticks. Other features include hyperlapse, time lapse, and an 18 megapixel DNG photo capture, including up to four stops of HDR, allowing for some pretty incredible images. Guess what, the audio quality is not very good, but that's to be expected of a camera of this size. I'm here at Finley Creek Vineyards, and this is an audio test of the Insta360 ONE X. Pretty cool, there's a vineyard over there. Oh, One of the coolest things about the Insta360 ONE X is the ability to attach it to your hot shoe on your camera. It'd be great for behind the scenes video. You can then cut to your truck flying past. <laughs> the Insta360 ONE X app is super easy to use. You can easily pop in once connected to your camera, readjust your orientation, and change all of your modes and settings within the app. I haven't played with this function yet, but this camera, oh, that's my wife. I was literally showing the app on my phone when you called and now you're live on camera. Hello. I have not gone into the app all that often because I prefer to shoot in the moment and then import the footage into my computer and edit later. I did find the desktop application to be a little clunky and limiting. The main thing I felt was missing was the ability to undo an action. However, once I played with it for a while, I was able to develop a workflow that allowed me to edit the clips I wanted and then import them into Premiere without any issues. I'm also sure that the desktop app will be updated in the future. The thing I like most about this camera is that you don't need to think about it. It allows you to be in the moment and go back and tell your story later. I'm relatively new to the world of 360 photo and video. I did have the opportunity to use the Insta360 ONE, and I have to say that this camera is a giant leap forward. <laughs> you can tell that the Insta360 company really listened and learned from their users and developed a system that simply works. This has been a relatively high level overview of this camera. We can certainly go into more details on the specs and we'll link to that in the description below. For additional information on this camera and much more, visit photopxl.com where we're enhancing your vision. Come with me and you'll see a world of 360 innovation. I don't think I've ever come close to singing as much as I did right there.